Do you like my Beanie Baby? Yeah, I have a 4-H bear. Now, most of the time when we do these segments, we're interviewing youth, but we're going to do something different today. We're going to interview a 4-H volunteer, and Kim Cravey is here with us to give us a new perspective on 4-H. Welcome to the program. Thanks for having me. You like the Beanie Baby? Yes. Yeah, I do, Very too. Cute. I better put it over here. I'm just going to keep playing with it all the time. <laughs> you know. Now, when did you become interested in being a volunteer? About 10 years ago, um, my children were... 10, 8, and 6, and we decided that we needed to do something together as a family instead of going off mm -hmm. in different and, directions. And so what you did is just, did you organize a club? Um, I tried to figure out what we could do, and I got in touch with the extension agents, and, and the 4-H extension agents, and they were able to tell me that I could start a club, but we actually joined a club, and then mm -hmm. a couple years later, I, I um, they gave me the club after we were members for a while. Oh, how about that? And that's a challenge, I would yes. think, to a certain extent, and, and you really have to work at it, I know, but, it, but it's fun, right? Oh, it's a, it was a great opportunity for my children. Um, we were able to do so many things, um, and um, they've learned so many things. We had a livestock gen general livestock club but but besides that they were able to do livestock judging and um, they wrote wrote um, book reports and different things on their projects and, well, and different things yeah now your kids have grown up uh, now and uh, you said one of them is still interested in agriculture is growing blueberries yes yes clay our oldest boy is doing um, blueberries at this time and and he's just got a passion for the blueberry it's mm. just amazing you know and that all stems from 4-h that's what I was wondering did it all come up through 4-h like that yes even though he showed livestock and didn't do the horticulture and and he did grow hay and he has a passion for that industry and so it's really neat to see your child be passionate about something at you know 20 years old he's yeah. very passionate and it's all about for this. there yes. yeah well you know I think most of us want to know uh, what are some of the things you liked about 4-H I mean why why settle on 4-H you could have picked a lot of other organizations well what I liked is that when we first the kids were in football and baseball and ballet and we were going in 20 different directions so we were able to go to a meeting once a month together we were able to work on our projects together as a family and do everything as a family and not be pulled in so many different directions so mm -hmm. that was very very nice for us yeah I think also what a lot of us want to know is it hard to be a volunteer I mean, is it well, I made it, made it sound like maybe it was a little bit of work there, but I guess it is some work. It, it's a little work, but it's all so worth it. I've had, I have so many wonderful success stories, not with just my own children, but with other children um, that, that have just been marvelous. You know, that, that you just, we had a one boy that had some different learning disabilities and different things, and mm -hmm. um, his mom brought him into 4-H, and he started to sh with, with a pig, sh showed a hog at the fair, and it was... His teacher, that next semester, they had a parent conference uh, meeting, and the, and the teacher said, whatever you're doing, continue to do. Really? Because not only did his writing skills become better, but his math skills as well, because he was doing things, conversion, you know, feed conversions and different yeah. things, and she, it was something he found interesting, and so he, it clicked for him. And so that's always valuable for a child to, to find out why is math going to be important to me one day, you know, mm -hmm. and, and that different things, and it clicked for him at a young age, so it was very exciting to see that. And of course, he's gone on to, to become a- What a great story. Yeah. That's neat. Now, and this is one way it affects the community. I know you're, you're concerned about how 4-H is active in the community. And this is one of the ways it works. Yes, we are. Um, our club in particular has a road cleanup, and we clean up a right. section of road. And the kids love it. It's it's almost like a challenge. They have a garbage bag, and they try to fill it up. And we're in the Apopka area, so they're able to, you know, they have a section of road that's right out pretty much in front of the high school and so um, a lot of the older kids and so they we take pride in you know that's our road that's our road and we haven't gotten our sign up yet but we're hoping to get our sign up here shortly yeah kim thanks so much for that you know after a while you've been in 4-h for a while 4-h just starts sprouting on your ears did you realize <laughs> that <laughs> so you suggest that other people might be interested in doing the same thing oh yes i i it's been so rewarding for me as not just as a as a mom but as a as as i'm affectionately called miss kimmy is what um, oh, all my kids call me so I'm I am I'm so proud to see the kids that have gone off to the University of Florida and who are doing so well and um, they're doing what they love because they found their passion young in life a lot of times people don't find their passion until they're 30 40 years old you well, know so what a wonderful opportunity it is well miss Kimmy thank you very much for being with us here and if you're interested in 4-H boy so what great stories you can't beat those and you could be involved in them too so contact the 4-H office and they can tell you how to get into a club and maybe even start a club it's really great